They come out of turn number four. Green flag at the ready. Heat number eight blasting off, and so does Wayne Bucker in car number two. Launches like a scud missile off the line. Robert Farr in car number three. Goes around the outside of the skipper. Takes Peter Murphy on as well. Up near the concrete, but he brings it back. It's Bunker in two. Robert Farr coming up now to George Tatnell. He says, hey, move aside, George. I'm coming through. Wheelie from Farr. Really everything happening. Butch Hunter doing a grand job in 73. Oh, George Tatnell just about going through and collecting Hunter. Robert Farr touches Butch in 73. And says, catch you later, pal. That's enough. I'm going to clear out and leave you to deal with Brent Antle in 59. But now the two leaders, Danny Smith and Wayne Bucker. And look at that for a drive. Danny Smith utilising the high side of this racetrack to great effect. He powers past Wayne Bunker and says, hey, catch me if you can. Wayne has said, well, I don't know if I can, but I'll do my best. George Tatnell in car number 15. Some definite understeer problems. I don't know if it's a steering ailment, but I'll get some lap times on Danny Smith, who is just demoralising his opposition, cutting this track to shreds, not to mention a tyre or two, the way he's going. 12.30 seconds for the Les Williams Hughes trucks. Truck traders of Mount Gambia, stealth chassis owned by Bill Barrows. I'm sure you'd agree, one of your favourite sons as he comes through again at 12.44 from Smith. Wayne Bunker in car number two, desperate to try and pick up points, but Robert Farr's on the move. Farr's on the move and takes second. Now corner number three, the John Boy. Hugging the pole line, smoking the big Goodyear right rear off four. Wayne Bunker in car number two, continuing to run third. We look back to George Tatnell in fourth position. Following them is Peter Murphy from Brent Anfield, then it's Wayne Skipper, but with half a lap remaining. What a big drive this has been from dashing Danny Smith. A quick race time as the check is out, and he wins in commanding style. Second position, sensational rock and roll performance from Robert Barr. Third position in the end, going out, I think, to uh, the two car of Wayne Bunker ahead of George Tatnell in 15, then Peter Murphy, Brent Anthill, and Wayne Skipper, but there he is. Come on, put your hands together for Danny Smith, the American from Danville, Indiana. That is a blitzing performance, utilizing the high side of this racetrack. He loves getting up there about a length in from the concrete barrier, using the cushion. His car looked beautiful. His entire team, spearheaded by Bill Barrows, would be chuffed with that one, and rightfully so. Good on you, Danny. Look forward to seeing you out in the qualifying A-Main a little bit later this evening.